another episode of the Super Sleepy Gamer. Um, this is going to be another PSA. This is uh, super important. Um, I've done these before, and as you probably all know, if anybody's taking my tips and run with them, they'll realize that they're a better person. They'll start seeing good things happening to themselves. They'll be getting better jobs, uh, better mates. Uh, uh, good things, just good things. More presents, more cake, hopefully. Um, so anyways, the, uh, the thing I want to talk about today is, is movie theater etiquette. I know, I know, you hear it a million times. Here's the thing, you hear it a billion times, right? Everybody gets told not to do this bullshit. But the problem is, is that it still fucking happens, right? So somebody out there is not listening. So I just want to do my part. I want to get it out there a little bit more. Make sure everybody still knows that you got to act like a normal human being, a decent person who's, who's li you know, who doesn't live their lives as a sociopath. All right, no, it's not cool to be a sociopath. Get that out of your head. No. When you go to a movie, I want you to know that if your wife, all right, is having a baby, or if you are a woman who's pregnant, right, and you're due to have the baby that night, your wife could have a, a, the baby any moment, um, uh, don't, don't go to the movies. All right, that I find to be dumb. And that is about the only thing that I can think about that you need to have your phone on that you need to be waiting for, that you have to answer that phone for. Any w other way... Now, here's the thing. Don't go... My, my point is, don't go if your wife is about to have a baby. You are not so important that you cannot disconnect yourself from the rest of the people for three fucking hours. I say three hours because the fucking trailers are so damn long these days. Back in the, in the 80s, now I know when you think about the 80s, you think about those wastelands, there was desert everywhere, ruined buildings and everything like that, but you know what we did? We went to movies, and we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have to go, please make me feel important, right? We didn't have to do that. We actually got by okay. We were actually very confident. There was a lot of confident people back in the 80s. And we didn't have the support of people constantly saying, yes, I like what you just said. Yes, that's great, right? You didn't have to do that. We did not have to do that. So you don't have to do it now. I know you think you do. Turn your damn phone off. It's fucking bright. You're blinding everybody. I'm trying to watch the damn movie. I'm sure Captain America is doing some cool shit, but you know what? I don't care because I have adrenaline running through my body because what I want to do is take my hands and go and pop your head because you're sitting there with a little bright light that's distracting everybody around you and for some reason I'm the only one who has the balls to say anything. So that leads to another thing. If you are not the person who's doing the stupid shit, but you see the person doing the stupid shit, don't sit there like a little little scared mouse and wait for the big bad people to say something. Say something yourself. Get it done. Do what you gotta do. It's ruining everybody's experience. The longer you wait, the worse it'll get. It's not your fault. I'm not trying to victim blame. But that person's doing something wrong. Somebody's gotta stand up for it. Don't wait. Alright, be that person. You'll feel better about that. Alright. Now that's the electronic devices. I will admit that the 80s was not perfect, 90s wasn't perfect either, so we did still, the people still did talk. Alright, that's the thing, if you are like, hey buddy, I haven't seen you in a year, let's go hang out, alright, we'll catch up. Oh, you want to catch up? Yeah, well, we can go out, let's go see a movie. No, that is not the time to see a movie, because you guys want to talk. You want to catch up, you want to tell each other about your stupid shit kids or whatever the fuck you're doing in your life, what games you've been playing. And that's, that's fine, but go to a restaurant, go somewhere that that's, that's socially acceptable. It is not, going to a movie is not the place you go to catch up with somebody. Alright, it's not even, it's not even considered romantic anymore. Don't go to the movies to make out or whatever the fuck people do. Alright, don't do that. Alright, the movie theater is to go, you're spending, ugh, movies are expensive these days. Especially if you're going to a damn uh, 3D one, right? You're paying like over $10 for a ticket. Go to see the damn movie. Alright, the fucking DVD is going to be out in like a month and a half. So you can buy that for $20. So why waste the money on going to a movie theater if you're not there to see the damn movie? Alright, it doesn't make any sense. Alright, and so... Don't talk, right? You can talk during the trailers. Um, I'm not happy about that. If there's a mood, 
and the trailer, people are watching and enjoying the trailers, but you're still telling your buddy about how you have like a, a wart on your toe or something like that, nobody gives a shit. Or, oh, well, I'll tell you this too. Nobody gives a shit about your little D&D adventures either. All right, nobody gives a shit about your little art MMORPG adventures. Nobody wants to hear those in the theaters. Or anywhere else, but let's just say the theaters right now. We're going to focus on the theaters. All right. Here's another thing. Like I said, I'm telling these people all this information. Everybody's going to say they don't do it, but it still happens. Somehow it still happens. If you find yourself in a position where somebody calls your stupid ass out because you are talking or you're doing shit and they're like, they're like, hey buddy, shut up. Or they're like, can you stop talking? Alright, what kind of audacity is it for you to get mad at somebody pointing out that you're being a dick? Why is that? Why do you get mad? Everybody does. Trust me, I am a trained professional. I have yelled on many occasions at people. And unless it's maybe a kid, 100% of adults get offended. And I am nice at first. It's good. I'll say that too. For those who do call out people, be nice about it first. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Give them a chance. Be like, can you please stop making that noise? Can you please turn off your, your electronic device? I'm trying to watch a movie. Then if it escalates, that's when you can get a little bit more rude. And eventually you can tell the, the people in the movie theater, but at that point I suggest you get your money back because that's a bunch of bullshit that you have to put up with. Um, but anyways, uh, don't get pissed off. You are the idiot. You are the bad guy here. When you're watching the movie and you're rooting for James Bond, you're rooting for the Marvel City, you're Ultron, okay? You're, you're the bad guy. You are the bad guy here. Don't get all offended and pissy that you just got called out for your bullshit. Alright? Don't. Calm down. And realize that you just did some stupid shit and be like, you're right, never mind, I'm sorry. Alright? Does that sound so bad? Is that terrible? Alright. Here's another thing. I know there's not a million miles between each seat. I know, I know. There's not a lot of space in the rows. But there's, there is some. Now, I have sat in so many theaters, and there's, there's room. I mean, it's not like a sold-out crowd. And I'm sitting there, relaxing, and, and the person, like, oh, I'm just sitting there, and I, and I feel <laughs> against the back of my chair. Now, it's not sometimes directly behind me. It could be the person over here, over there, but I feel it. Now, why, what do you, when you, when you're doing that, when you shift in your seat, are you just flailing your limbs like nuts? There's not, there's, there's plenty of space for you. Are you just so unaware of your spatial relations between the rest of the world? It might be, I don't know, a lot of people do seem to bump into shit and they seem to be dumb. I'm not sure. Um, but just try to watch your feet. Try not to kick the front, the seat behind you. I mean, if it happens, it's a mistake. If somebody looks at you for doing it, be like, sorry, it was a mistake. I was an asshole. But, but don't keep doing it. You got space. You have space. I've done it. I've done it. I've been there. I've seen it myself. All right. So I've gone on a bit. Um, there's some basic other things. Like, like I know a lot of people like to buy popcorn. People buy bags of shit. I don't know what it always is. Um, you know, what you should do when you're eating that stuff is, like, that's it. That's all you have to do. But for some reason, like, people have this this thing where they think they're digging for treasure or gold so you hear the pop go, what are you doing what are you looking for are you looking for the magical popcorn that will be the tastiest one you looking for that special one that salted a popcorn you don't fucking know don't act like you know stop doing that stop doing that all right and with the plastic bag I'm not sure what you're looking for did you buy like a, ba a box of cracker jacks and you only like the the the, the the whatever the fuck nut they have in there, the fuck, fuck nut they have in there, the whatever, and you're just looking for those but you don't want to eat the rest of it, why don't you buy a damn bag of those, alright? Just the, just the fucking nuts. Anyways, I'm just saying, try not to go popcorn, bag. I don't yell at people for that because it's sort of like, I kind of understand, okay, they're, they're un opening something and it's going to make some noise. They're trying to get some popcorn. But there is, there's a level right there. There's a degree that you should just, you know, whatever. I know a lot of people complain about, about adults bringing in kids. I'll be honest with you. Like, I've had better dealings with kids than I do adults. So don't go and tell me, oh, these dumb kids. It's not the dumb kids, alright? The adults are the ones that get all pissy with you. 
The kids actually usually listen to you unless they're in a big group and they empower themselves to act like douchebags. You know, the, the special douche empowerment that you get when you're with more friends. The douche level goes higher no matter what. Um, but besides that, usually adults are the assholes. Alright. And then the basic cleanliness. I mean, nobody wants to touch the, you know, shit. But if you got a bunch of shit, it can't hurt to throw it away. I know there's people in the theater that are paid to clean it up. But it's still a jerk thing to do. Alright. I, I think... That's, that's, I'm going to close with that. There's not much else to say. If you follow those basic rules, this, this thing, if you listen to me, that should make the movie going experience a little bit better. All right, you are not the center of the universe. You're going there to share an experience with a lot of other people. Um, make it comfortable for them. Make it, make it enjoyable. All right, and that maybe, the, maybe, you know, just actually go to see the fucking movie that you went and just paid a bunch of money to see. Or, and if you're, if you're breaking in, if you're, Here's another thing, just real fast. If you're movie hopping, or you broke in, and you just want to see the movie, you're, you're stealing technically, uh, you know, again, if you're risking your freedom, because if you, you're caught, you, you get arrested, then, then of course, be quiet again. You want to see the fucking movie. You just risk more than, more than 15 bucks to see that movie. So, again, all, all the basic rules apply to you, too. All right, guys, that's it for now. Um, maybe I'll have more later. We'll see. Every movie-going experience teaches me more ways that people can be terrible. Alright? Have a good night, guys. See you later.